So I woke up this morning and I chose absolute torture. I don't know what came over me, but I was like, you know what a great video idea is? Let me just pick my top 10 favorite luxury items. As you guys know, I try a lot of makeup ranging from luxury all the way down to drugstore. So I think I have a really great idea of what's actually worth it at a certain price point. So I picked 10 luxury items that I think are truly worth the price point. And I put myself in the situation of if I could really only pick 10 luxury items, what would they be? So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with the ultimate luxury foundation in my opinion. This is just the best. I only use it really for special events and special occasions and I was very excited to be able to use this today <laughs> and use this video as an excuse. You guys probably know it. The reason that I don't use it every day is because I run through it like water. It's not gonna last a lifetime but the finish is so pretty. That is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. I have an older packaging one, so it's gonna look a little different than what you get today. But this is hands down my all time favorite foundation. It lasts all day, it has a medium coverage, and it has kind of like a soft matte finish. I think it looks very skin-like. It feels like absolutely nothing on this skin. And I just feel like my skin looks so perfected whenever I wear this. It looks phenomenal in photography. I'll favorite foundation wore it on my wedding it's worth every penny if you ask me now if you do prefer like a liquid foundation the La Mer soft fluid foundation is pretty much this in a bottle form but I like this just a little bit better so for me this is the luxury foundation that is worth every penny now to apply it I like to spray it on a sponge and then dab it on don't like spray your face directly you'll get it all over your hair you will waste a lot of product if you just spray it on your sponge you will have full control of where it goes so when you spray it on your sponge make sure that you put it on the spot that needs the most coverage on your face first so for me I have a big honker right here I just popped it on top and you can see it did a really great job covering that but it's still it's not a full coverage foundation but anyways ultimate foundation I've talked about this on my channel for years it cannot be replaced concealer okay I have a lot of concealers that I love and I really do feel like the luxury market has a great selection of concealers. But if I could only pick one, it would probably be the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. I think that this is so pretty on the under eyes. It is a thicker consistency, but I feel like it doesn't crease on my under eyes. It smooths everything out. It really does perfect the under eyes. And you can actually use this as foundation and I think it looks so nice as a full coverage foundation as well. Of course, it's not a ton of product, but I would love to see Pat McGrath come out with a foundation that matches the energy of this concealer. Something a little thicker, full coverage, heavy duty. Even though it is a more heavy duty concealer, it really still looks quite natural on the skin. Not natural in a way that you can like see things underneath, but the finish of it is natural, but it still provides a full coverage experience while also having a beautiful skin-like finish and uh, it's just everything that personally I want in a concealer. I don't necessarily recommend this for mature skin. I think it's a bit thick for mature skin. I know I do have a lot of mature subscribers though who still swear by this so take that with a grain of salt but this is an absolute amazing concealer. Now for powder, again the luxury market has some great powder options but I had to go with and it's funny because this is like the worst cheapest packaging ever but the formula amazing this is the Pat McGrath Labs again skin fetish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder it's supposed to be an under eye powder. It's perfect for the under eyes. It's so lightweight. It sets the under eyes perfectly while still blurring under there. But I love it so much that I use it all over my face. This is a terrible, terrible value. There are some cons to this product, but the product itself is just so unbelievable and better than any powder that I've ever tried that I don't care. I will pay whatever price tag for it. Okay, so, so listen, first of all, 
luxury experience. You know, that's part of the luxury market. This is not luxurious at all in the packaging. Over time, like you'll see on this one, the name will scratch off. It's cheap, flimsy packaging. It's terrible. It's, I don't know why she came out with this packaging. Number two, this, the powder breaks so easily. Like I swear it will break just sitting in your drawer. I brought this for my wedding day and I just remember it completely shattered all over my makeup bag. So I can't travel with this unfortunately, but guess what happens when it shatters? I go out and buy another one. I do not care because when this is applied to the skin, it blurs everything. It is a magical, magical powder. I don't care the flaws that it has. The finish on the face is just phenomenal. It's so lightweight as well. Mm, you can't beat it. So the next product that I have, it's a face palette. But in my opinion, these face palettes are just superior worth every penny. They are the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palettes. So I'm pulling my favorite one, but I'm not sure if this is available. If it is, I will link it. If it is not available, I will still link it to the variations that they came out with this year because I know those are still available. But I buy these every year because they are just the best palettes ever. So Hourglass, first of all, creates some of the best powders. Really a powder that cannot be duped. In my opinion, I just think they create such a luxurious, unique formula. And this particular shade is the Unlocked, and it, this is my all-time favorite. You know, they've had a few color variations over the years that haven't been my favorite. This one is my favorite if you can get your hands on it. So it comes with a multitude of products. It comes with two of their finishing powders, which are going to be these two right here. I actually used one of the finishing powders today just all over my face. You don't want to use those as set, but they do give such a pretty softened, glowy effect to the face that you can really only see when you're outside and notice. I feel like if you put it on in the mirror, you're not gonna notice, but then you go outside and you see that subtle glow that's phenomenal in photography. The bronzer is buttery smooth. It does also have that soft glow. I didn't use the blushes today, but the blushes are so beautiful. Hourglass actually does have one of my all-time favorite luxury blush formulas as well. And then I have on the highlights today and again it's such a beautiful blurring glow. Hourglass powders are top notch and these palettes are very expensive to begin with but their powders individually are also not so so I do think for what their individual products are going for that the palette is definitely the best value and of course you just get so many products. I love the Hourglass palettes. You guys know that Phenomenal. I did want to pick a powder blush. The luxury market has a lot of great powder blushes, but I will say, don't knock drugstore blushes. Drugstore blushes are really great, so I almost wasn't gonna put a blush in this video because you can get really great blushes at really great prices. But this color and formula, I had to. I officially cannot live without this blush. So this is the Pat McGrath last. Pat McGrath is running this video, okay? I just think her products are phenomenal. This is the Divine Blush in the shade Desert Orchid. I'm a pink blush girl. I love a bright pop in pink on my cheek, baby doll. Love that look. I have not found a warm blush that I love as much as this. This is my staple warm blush. It has like a soft, peachy orange color to it, a little bit of bronze in there to make it a little bit more natural and sun-kissed with a very, very subtle golden sheen to this. So the formula, it's gonna last all day. When I first tried the Pat McGrath blush formula, I was like, I mean, it's just a blush. But then the more I used the blushes, I realized that their longevity is amazing, the blendability is amazing. They really are a top-notch blush formula. And this color in particular, I have not found a color that I love as much as this in the warm family. It doesn't really go with my makeup look today, but I'm wearing it anyways, and I feel like it is so natural and summery, and it gives a little bit of a bronzy, golden vibe to my cheek as well. So not only is the formula superior, but this color to me is so unique, and I normally don't like a warm blush on myself, especially in like kind of the orangey family. There's something about it. 
There really is. I think the Pat McGrath blush line in general is really great. She has some phenomenal colors. I love Flirtatious as well. New Venus is another great kind of warmer one. Desert Orchid has always been the one that has stood out to me. Let's talk palettes. So I also am filming a top 10 luxury palette video. So I picked two because I did need to pick a Natasha Denona and a Pat McGrath palette. The palette from Pat McGrath that I decided to go for is the Mothership Bronze Seduction Palette. This actually is only my second favorite Pat McGrath palette, but I was in the situation, well, if I could only have one though, and I'm getting rid of all my luxury stuff, this is the one that I would pick because it's simply the one that I would wear out more. So I think that this is a perfect, deep, but still wearable palette. It surprisingly has... We're okay, we're okay. The brown got a little scratched up, but we're okay. It surprisingly has such a wearability to it, but it also can be super smoky and dramatic as well. I just love the versatility that this palette has. It also is, in my opinion, like one of the most phenomenal palettes for deeper complexions as well. These are so pigmented. There is a flaw in this palette that I haven't, I don't know, have I mentioned this? I just noticed it today when I was applying. I don't know if it's because the palette's a little older. I actually did have a hard time blending out this dark purple. I can still make it work. I'm not bothered by it. I love the color so much that I don't care, but just something to note, but it still is a perfect palette to me. The Blitz Astro Formulas that she puts in her Mothership formula is what makes this palette luxury and what makes this palette stand out from other formulas that you can get on the market because you can get some great affordable formulas from like BH Cosmetics. Of course, the mid-range companies also do a phenomenal job with their formulations, but the Pat McGrath Blitz Astro Shade are just the best. So I had to put a Pat McGrath palette in here and this is the one that I chose. I will talk more about how I got this look in the luxury eyeshadow palette video. That's where I'll show you how, but it's super simple. I put basically the matte purple all over the lid. I have the brown to blend that out and then I put the pink glitter all over the lid. Super simple. The next palette that I have from Natasha Denona, I mean, if you are a regular on my channel and you actually pay attention to the things that I said, you probably have been able to predict almost everything in this video. None of these are surprising. But the Natasha Denona palette that I picked is the Glam palette again. Ooh, it's so good. Okay, so I love like a neutral, cool toned look. That's what I feel the prettiest in if I could only pick one color family to wear for the rest of my life. We're going a little bit more neutral and cool. I like basic browns, champagnes, golds, that kind of sitch. So this is the palette literally of my dreams. It is limiting in terms of versatility of a palette overall if this were to be the only palette in your collection. It sticks within one color family, but I just love this color family so much. I think this is a great value for Natasha Denona, and if you aren't familiar with her quality, there's something about Natasha's formula. I think for the mass market, for most consumers, I would recommend Natasha Denona over Pat McGrath because Natasha Denona, I think, has a formula that's a little easier to figure out. The mattes blend a little easier, and it's not as glittery or glimmery, which is why I love Pat McGrath, but I think that's also what makes Natasha Denona a little bit more consumer-friendly. You get more colors, of course, in a D Natasha Denona palette as well, so I think that makes the value a lot better. I love Natasha Denona's palettes. I think she is a genius with the colors that she includes in the palettes, and I really do feel like her formulation is worth the price, and if you're worried about that, you can definitely get her products on sale as well every now and then during the Sephora sales. She has some Black Friday deals, but this is my favorite palette from her, period. So I had to include it in this video. I do have a luxury eyeliner that cannot be beat. This is the most expensive eyeliner ever, but I swear it's amazing. So this is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. It's like $60, but it's 
the best. So it lasts all day. That's the most important part. But there's something about the application of this where I feel like I can get a wing in seconds. Like I cannot do my eyeliner any quicker than when I use this eyeliner. Because you know eyeliner application, that takes time. It takes concentration. It takes a lot of fixing, redoing, layering. Not with this. I just go foop, foop, and I have a wing. So I don't know what it is about this, but application is so easy. I love that there's two different sizes as well. There's a smaller side, well, this is a smaller side, and here's a bigger side. So that allows you to get really detailed with it as well. You can get super close to the lash line. You can get a big wing today like I did. There's just something about this. I don't know, it's super duper black. It layers well over like glitters, which I have on today. Worth every penny, and it doesn't dry out. I have never experienced this eyeliner to dry out as well. So even though, she pricey like the pat mcgrath for example that one is great but it dries out so quickly you have to keep repurchasing this the top four is going to last you like a good six months if you use it every day <laughs> okay so final destination is going to be the lips my all-time favorite lipstick okay this is my good luck lipstick i wear this lipstick to every job interview i wear it to every special event it's one of my favorite everyday nudes this is the charlotte tilbury lipstick in the shade Hepburn Honey, to me, this is the perfect nude. I've been wearing this for years. It doesn't get any better than this. Charlotte Tilbury's formula in general, all-time favorite lipstick formula, number one. There's like a couple brands that might run close to it, but this is still number one. It has to be the kissing formula. This does has a have a little bit of sheen to it, but the kissing formula fills in the lines of the lips, makes your lips look more plump, and it's hydrating as well. I love Hepburn Honey so much because it's that perfect honey nude. I am most likely wearing nudes unless I'm forcing myself to step outside my comfort zone, and Hepburn Honey is perfect. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It still adds definition to the lips. Put it with a brown lip liner. It's just amazing. I'm telling you. So yeah, I love Hepburn Honey. This is my number one favorite, but Charlotte Tilbury has some other colors. That, that I will love to the end of time. This isn't the only amazing shade that she has to offer, but unfortunately I was limited in options for today's video. If I could only pick one, that would be it. But she has a lot of other great ones. I don't need to specify that. <laughs> okay, and the final lip product is a lip gloss. You can get some good lip glosses at the drugstore. Maybelline is great. Midrange Fenty is great. But Pat McGrath has really got it going on with her lip gloss formula. There's something about her formula that is so smoothing to the lips, that lasts a long time, that looks so glossy, and I just feel like really plumps the lips in such a flattering way. And not to mention, she has a huge range of colors, so there's so many to choose from. Because I'm a nude lip girl, this is the shade that I wear the most, Dare to Bear. It's not clear, it has enough color to kind of milky up the lips, if that makes sense. It goes perfect with any nude. It's not like a full coverage gloss. It's like a lighter medium, but it's not going to be clear. So, you know, there's some colored glosses where you're like, why do you even have different colors in the range? They all pull clear on the lips. This is not the case. This color holds its own while, while still not being full coverage. You can see the color that you have underneath. This just kind of milks it up and mm, mm. anyways, I love this. I think this is the perfect night light nude gloss. It has a subtle sheen to it. That's a little bit more on the gold inside not to get all last such a long time especially for a lip gloss I really do believe Pat McGrath's formula is worth the money if you want to try it I don't necessarily recommend buying the full size they're worth it to me but you can always get her lip glosses in small like travel size sets those are definitely going to be worth it, especially if you want to try the formula. Okay, I'm gonna cheat now. I was acting like I was playing fair. I need to cheat, I need to add an 11th item. This is a face primer. I can't live without this product, okay? This is one of my favorite hydrating and glowy products. I don't think it's talked about enough, but it didn't make the top 10, but it's certainly number 11. This is the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. If you have dry skin like me, you like a glowy primer underneath everything. This is the best that I've tried. I feel like it really does smooth the texture of the skin to make application of foundation on top just work a little better, you know? It adds that nice hydration, and then of course the glow is very, very pretty and it looks great under foundations, and I feel like that hydration holds throughout the day with this product. So 
cheating. This is number 11. I love it so much. Hey there, you guys. There we have it. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this video. Those are my top 10 plus one favorite luxury makeup products that I highly recommend to everybody. I hope you enjoyed my explanations and that this video was of help to you. Keep an eye out. I will definitely have a top 10 luxury eyeshadow palettes video coming very soon. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.